that's the thing. So in this case, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Um, so Ray Lukes asks a question. I think this is a perfect question for you. So calmly, who do you think are the top five power scalers in the Naruto community in your opinion? Well, he didn't say who do I think. He just says who are your top five. So I think that's just who are your favorite five. Okay, well, who are, who's your favorite five? What's it? I mean, really, the only ones I've ever watched was Seth Six and Swag. Um, I don't watch Seth anymore, which leaves Six and Swag, who I haven't really watched that much of either. So. Don't know who I've been watching. <laughs> I haven't been watching any of them. <laughs> but um I mean really I would just say six and swag. Those ones I really pay attention to. I don't have anything against others, but do you think one is more reliable? I mean, if than if the I other? can count Udi, sure. <laughs> I'll count Udi. Can I count myself? Can I even I count as a YouTuber at this Naruto. point? <laughs> Like, am huh? I even a Naruto YouTuber? Like, am I? <laughs> Do you power scale? <laughs> <laughs> I on feel like YouTube? I have. I mean, I've power scaled okay. on YouTube. Uh, uh, I'll make Trippy the fifth one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Trippy, I didn't even think about that. That's a good point. Um, My top five in order... Number one is Thunder God, just because I, like, work with him. He makes, like, bombs of videos, freaking long, like, hour-long videos. Good, like, and I'm not going in terms of entertainment or, like, whatever, or, like, subjective. I'm talking about, like, in terms of reliable, in my opinion, information. Not necessarily even educational. Just the information that I think is the most accurate. Um, and I guess that is subjective based on what mm -hmm. I think is the most accurate. But the information that is explained the best as well, I guess. The information that I think anyone should see as the most accurate to make it slightly more objective i guess <laughs> so i think thunder god's first yeah, i've actually watched his videos i just talked to him on stream yeah no i don't blame you because they're long videos and some of them i mean i'm sure he would hate to hear this but some of them aren't interesting ideas in my opinion um same with like a lot of the other guys on this list i'm gonna name but like again it's not about the entertainment and they can make it entertaining it's just the topic is kind of dull, drab, dry. But anyway, so Thunder God, I think, is the most reliable. Are you dry, drab? <laughs> it's dull, it's drab. I remember that translation of drab. I, when I read that as a kid, I was like, what? <laughs> drab? Oh God. Second through fourth place is difficult for me because they're pretty close. Thunder God's in first, but second through fourth is difficult. I would say it's between. Virtue, Hello. six, and um, Jay the Great. I think Jay the Great has most no nonsense stuff. Virtue recently made a good uh, Minato video, so he's pretty cool. Um, and then six, probably the most entertaining of all the three, I guess. Um, probably oh, like Kitamaki. <laughs> I don't watch Kitamaki, you know. <laughs> Uh, you, you know what you're doing this just to spite me because you know my answer I can't, no I'm gonna say no for me not top five take that Come on, mellow okay we're done here um I would what, like to game? say sage of thick calves because I think he has entertaining videos but he made an avatar video that I just didn't agree with recently so I feel like can't really include him um even though he's a good scaler he's fine um I feel like lightning snow probably does a few new horizons but they don't really do power scaling much um trippy makes he at this point he doesn't power scale his recent video like the past few months have just been like narrative essays so i'll just exclude him just on that um <laughs> noodles that's a thing is so bad but he's a good as a debater i guess not as a power scaler but as a debater <laughs> <laughs> um swag i think has very basic knowledge but he's probably the most entertaining naruto youtuber at this point he has more advanced knowledge but like he also gets arguments from other people a lot and then he also has pretty bad takes as well so if we're going consistent take wise 
And I don't think like so. Like what? Give me an example. Let's let's evaluate the take. <laughs> he thinks What's Itachi's wor- right. <laughs> so <laughs> that's all you need. Okay, but power scaling take. Power scaling take. Oh, in terms of power. Well, I'm not talking about in terms of power scaling. I'm just talking about takes in general. Like we were talking about like the Naruto using Kurama never won or whatever. Like this is a stupid yeah. take. Yeah, like that's not power scaling, that's more narrative, but you know. Okay. Um I've only named four, so th- you know what? Hey, come we, I'll name you. <laughs> there you go, since you named me. <laughs> I, I I have a one versus battle on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, More to come in the future. <laughs> I think others can hear. I think bored to her. Oh, the other one was Seth, and just like Noodles, he's a good debater. But like, if anything, more so than Noodles, Seth makes it obvious like he makes it known when he's purposefully debating something that he doesn't believe in and yeah, he can exactly. do it well it's like you like so. i usually know sometimes i don't but I, usually i know you don't believe it no no, no i believe in everything but... i've ever debated i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> please but yes yeah, stuff you can tell with noodles you think he's just genuinely arguing the wrong take <laughs> oh troy doesn't power scale really um since invincible brought him up he does a little bit, but like that's not the point of his content. Is there anyone I'm forgetting? What is a lot of his content on like YouTube, not Twitter? On YouTube, he makes well, I don't want to say narrative analysis, but like not recaps. He does first of all, he covers a lot of the spoil. He just makes like videos about whatever he wants, like just videos about like ideas floating around in the community or the- not theories, but just like discussions. Like, will Team 7 ever get back together is one of his recent videos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so not like a theory, just like a discussion. Like, you know, like a Naruto Explained-esque discussion, which I'm also not yeah. going to throw Naruto Explained up there, even though he's one of the most knowledgeable. Because he doesn't really power scale, per se. Yeah, like, for me, I'm, I'm not going to power scale. I'd rather do a versus battle. Like, the, the exception, I guess, how strong is Kimimaro, but I don't like power scaling in the sense of like, uh, can he blow up a city or can he blow up a mountain? I don't care about that. I just like to see like it relative to battles in the verse, you know, how do they do kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I'm just looking through the list, making sure I didn't forget anyone that I wanted to mention in terms of power scaling that make videos about power scaling specifically. Um, no, I yeah, think like Cam Cam <laughs> or Sweet Dude, <laughs> Hot Boy Spicy. <laughs> no, that's it. Okay, there could be someone I'm forgetting. There probably is, but yeah, that's all that I think. Um, 